everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you're having a great day and doing well. So in this video, I'm going to be doing uh, some more of the post installation configurations in SCCM. Specifically, what I'm going to be doing is enabling Active Directory discovery. I'm going to create a boundary and then I'm also going to create a boundary group. And so the reason why you enable Active Directory discovery is so that SCCM can communicate with um, Active Directory in your domain server or your domain controller. Um, and what it does is that it brings the information in Active Directory into SCCM. And so that way, any changes that you make in, in Active Directory will also show up in SCCM. So for example, if you add or remove a user or a computer, those changes will um, in Active Directory will also show up on your SCCM server. Um, so we're going to be doing that. And then uh, the boundaries, you create a boundary so that SCCM can identify the location of the devices on your network that you'll be managing. And you can create boundaries. Um, they can be defined by different boundary types. So you can do um, IP address range, IP subnet, Active Directory site name, IP version six prefix. I'm going to be doing IP address range for this video, just to show you guys how to set that one that up. But just I wanted to let you know that there are other ways or other boundary types that you can create if you wanted to kind of test that out on your own or see how um, different how that works out, I guess. Um, but I'll be doing IP address range. And then for boundary groups, um, boundary group is for site assignment. So you assign a site so that the computers within that boundary will always communicate with that site. Um, it also allows you to allows them to locate content like updates and applications. So the, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. Thanks. All right. So we're in our SCCM server, and before I did the um, host configuration stuff, um, I wanted to show you just what it's showing currently. So if we go to our devices um, under assets and compliance in um, MECM, uh, you'll see that it doesn't have any of our other servers discovered on this um, on MECM. So one of the things we're going to do is um, enable Active Directory discovery in order to have MECM discover all of the machines on our network. And then also you'll see it doesn't have any of our users as well. So once we um, enable all of that, you'll be able to see all of our servers as well as all of our users on, um, see it has no users either, all of our users on, um, on our network that are showing up also in Active Directory. All right, so we're gonna go to administration and then it'll be under, so it's under hierarchy configuration and discovery methods. I already had this open previously, so it was already there. But um, so it's under administrations, hierarchy configurations. And then the first one we're going to do is uh, discovery methods. Uh, so these are all of the discovery methods um, that we have available in order for us to, for our SCCM server to communicate with our um, Active Directory. And that way, whatever is in Active Directory will show up here. So as you can see, all of these are disabled except for our heartbeat discovery. So that one's all good. We're going to leave that one alone. The first one that we're going to enable is our Active Directory Forest Discovery. So we're going to go ahead and double click that one. And we're going to select Enable Active Directory Group uh, Forest Discovery. Sorry. All right. So um, I'm not going to check off any of these other boxes because we're going to be doing a manual boundary. And if I were to check this one, it'll automatically create a site boundary, which um, we don't want to do. I don't want to do, at least for my testing environment. Um, and I also don't want it to automatically create an IP range for boundaries. So I'm going to just check this one. I'll leave this one to run every one week. You can change it if you want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it alone. I'll, um, click apply. Yes. And then okay. And now that's enabled. So we're good with that one. The next one we're going to do is active directory group discovery. So I'm going to go ahead and select enable active directory group discovery, select I'm going to select add locations. I'm going to select, okay, so I'm going to enter groups. And I'm going to select browse. And I'm just going to select my whole domain. So for Pleon, um, 
you can select your specific OUs if you had it structured that way, depending on what your requirements are. But I'm just going to select my domain um, so I could bring in all of the security groups from there, from my entire domain into the uh, Active Directory group discovery. Uh, but again, depending on what your requirements are or your, how you want your testing environment to be set up, you have different OUs and you can select specific OUs for um, this discovery. So I'm just going to select that one, put OK. And then I'm going to leave all of this how it is, put OK. Then I'm going to go, so that's OK. I'm going to put polling and then so first, poll, the poll discovery polling schedule occurs every seven days, effective 1998. And then I'm going to, this is good, so I'll leave this at five minutes. Put apply. Yes. Okay, and then there's nothing here that I'm going to change under options. So that's all good. I'm going to put okay. And then the next one that we're going to you can also do, if you right click and select properties, it'll bring up the same window. But um, that's another way to do it too. So on our Active Directory Systems Discovery, I'm going to select Enable Active Directory Systems Discovery. Then I'm going to select this yellow star. Okay, so I'm going to specify the location for the Active Directory container. So I'm going to select Browse. And then uh, again, I'm just going to choose my lab because I'm going to, um, I don't have any OUs in my domain so I'm, I have it all kind of in my main root lab um, domain so I'm just going to put okay and then I'll pick okay so that's all good check the polling schedule and that looks to be all good too there's nothing that I'm going to change on this and so I'm going to select apply. Yes. And then OK. And then the next one we're going to do is Active Directory user discovery. Let's double click it. I'm going to check the enable Active Directory user discovery box. Click on this yellow icon. I'm going to select browse. Just click on my domain, click OK, I'm going to verify the polling schedule is all good. Um, I'm going to click Apply, Yes, and then OK. All right, so the heartbeat discovery is done. For network discovery, um, it's for Network devices like routers, switches, printers, um, SNMP devices, etc. Uh, if you want to discover networked devices, um, you can enable it. Otherwise, just leave it disabled. It's mostly left disabled on, on companies. I don't have anything in my testing environment that I need for network discovery. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that disabled. Um, so we have all of these enabled now. So if we go back to our assets and compliance, we should see, these are all of the users now from our Active Directory. You can see everyone is now in here. If we go to Devices, we'll see now all of our other uh, servers discovered as well. Um, you know, the X686-64 provisioning, um, these ones are there by default, so you can ignore those ones. But now you can see we have all of our other machines discovered on our um, MECM um, in our CCM server, so this is all good now. Uh, now the next thing that we're going to do is create boundaries. Um, and so the way that we do that is we go to, all right, so we're going to go to administration, boundaries. All right, so there we don't, we don't have any boundaries currently set up. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, click, select create boundary. All right, so now we're going to name our boundary. And this one, I'm just going to do SCCM lab computer boundary. 
And I'm going to do mine. So this is the, you have different options. You can do by IP subnet, Active Directory site, IP version six prefix, or IP address range. I'm going to do mine for the IP address range um, since it's a small lab anyway. So the starting one is going to be 192.168.1.1. And then the ending IP address range is going to be 192.168.1.254. So that's all good. Nothing in the boundary groups. Um, I'm going to put apply. And then OK. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is create a boundary group. And this is going to be for our site assignment. So we're going to go to boundary groups. And then we're going to right click and select create boundary group. I'm going to name this one at SECM sites for a lab computing. And then I'm going to select add. And I'm going to select the boundary that we created. I'm going to put OK under references. Okay, so I'm going to go into references and then I'm going to check use this boundary group for site assignments. Um, so set the site that config manager computer resources are, are assigned to during discovery. This also sets the site that performs client push installation when a secondary site is selected. Secondary site performs client push installation, but clients always assigned to the secondary site, parent, primary site. And then I'm going to select add under here, select my server. So let's select the site system to associate with this boundary group. So I'm going to select my SCCM server. I'm going to put basically all the computers will be downloaded contents from here. I'm going to put apply and OK. So now we have our SCCM site for lab computer boundary group set up. You go under here. So yeah, we're all good. We have that one set up now. We have our boundary created and then we have our discovery methods um, enabled to communicate with Active Directory. So we are done with this part of the post installation configurations. Um, in my next video, I'm going to be doing some more stuff. So please stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you want to go ahead and like this video, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and always please subscribe. Um, that'd be great too. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.